welcome to the session about naive bayes classifier so it's one of the most simple and popular machine learning classification algorithms which is based on bayes theorem and in this session we learn how to get an example of naive bayes based classifier up and running with python machine learning with the skykit learn so naive bayes classifier it's based on bayes theorem for calculating probabilities and conditional probabilities so it's based on probabilities so for example if you are working on a classification problem and have generated your set of hypotheses and next you create the created features and discuss the importance of variables so with a small time you can work on this naive bayes classifier So this is the example of naive bayes classifier So for example if you are classifying fruits so apple fruit may be considered to be an apple if it's red round and about 3 inches in diameter so even if these features depend on each other upon existence of other features all of these properties independently contribute to the probability that this fruit is an apple so that is what is called naive for example that is the definition of naive if you take an apple it has red color it is round and it has 3 inches of diameter all these properties independently contribute to the probability that this fruit we can call it as an apple so those features independently contribute it does not have any connection it does not have uh, any issue with connecting uh, with the existence of other features so all these features independently contribute to the final goal so all these features independently contribute to the final goal so one feature is red it independently contribute contributes to the final goal round the shape round is also independently contributing to the final goal so that is called naive so all these properties independently contribute to the probability that this fruit is an apple so that's called naive <coughs> so naive bayes model is easy to build and it's useful for large data sets so along uh, with simplicity so other than more sophisticated algorithms so this is simple and it outperforms even the high, highly sophisticated classification methods so bayes theorem provides a way of calculating the posterior probability pcx from pc p in px and pxc so for example pcx equals pxc that is the likelihood pc plus prior probability and px the predictor prior probability so that is the bayes theorem <coughs> so pc is the priority prior probability of the class pxc is the likelihood which is the probability of the predictor given class px is the prior probability of predictor so if you look at an example with ipython notebook so we will have import numpy as np import pandas as pd import scalar import url lib that is to read from data from the url import url lib dot request as ur from scalar dot naive bayes import bernoulli naive bayes bernoulli nb next we have gaussian nb and next we have multi multinomial nb so these are based on various distributions so this we are looking at all the options in order to find the best option let's see how it goes 
from sklearn import matrices matrix from sklearn matrix import accuracy score so that is to calculate the accuracy so url of the data set is available here so you can download the spam base data if you again try with a new So you can see the data set available. Next we it has if you look at the data set it has many columns. Just had this data set open in CSV. You can see it has many <coughs> features. This is feature number one, feature number two, feature number one, feature number two, just like that with comma separated many features. And finally, it says whether it's spam or not. So the last number it says it's spam or not other than that the prior 48 classes say details about the features. So we will <coughs> have x data set which is from 0 to 48 and y the predictum variable the last value that we have. So I already tried this example, prepared this example, so I will run it for you again. Right, next what we are doing is, we have the X train, X test, Y train, Y test. So train and testing ratio we have to set, so we have the test size of 0 0.33, so we have that as well. Zero point three three, and next we will try Bernoulli distribution. In SKLN, it has based on the distribution, it has a few options Bernoulli distribution, multinomial distribution, and Gaussian distribution. Here we are trying the Bernoulli distribution, Bernoulli naive base classifier. Next we have, so the expect value, we have a variable called y underscore is expect. So we are assigning the y test values. So we, in this line, we the line which is highlighted, we divided the data set for training and testing and assigned to x train x test, y train y test. So the y test value, the output is assigned to y expect which is the expected one and next the y prediction Bernoulli BERN NB dot predict x test from x test you are predicting y pred so from these x values the values that we are using to test 
या प्रेडिक्टिंग द वाई एंड देन वी लुक एट वेदर इट्स इक्वल टू एक्सपेक्ट वर्सेस द रियलिटी सो विद द एक्यूरेसी स्कोर यू कैन टेस्ट द एक्सपेक्ट वर्सेस द रियलिटी सो वी हैव एटी फाइव परसेंट एक्यूरेसी सो इफ वी हैव लुक एट हाउ दिस एक्यूरेसी वर्क फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ वी हैव फ्रॉम स्केल एंड मेट्रिक्स इम्पोर्ट एक्यूरेसी स्कोर विच विच वर्क प्रिंट एक्यूरेसी स्कोर वी आर कंपेरिंग दिस वन with this data set with the this data set you have one comma here you can see which separates these data separates these data sets 110 versus 101 you can see if you compare 11 it is equal 10 not equal 01 again not equal so in the example that we have this is the y expect so remember this is just an example 110 One zero one with the one one zero and one zero one, we have provided an example to show the behavior of the accuracy score function, accuracy score option. So in our example, y expect and y pred. So just like that, we have two things just to see how this accuracy works. So remember this. Which is highlighted here is just an example, which is outside the demonstration, in order to show you the behavior of accuracy score. It is zero point three three, so it compares accuracy score first data set with the next data set. So here the accuracy score y expect. So what we expect, which is the test data set, versus what we predicted. What we predicted versus what is in reality so the reality versus predicted it shows how accurate our model is so it is 85% accuracy so next we will try <coughs> multinomial naibes like this it's easy almost the same syntax but you have to use multinomial nb Multi n b variable fit x train y train. Then you have new predictions. Multi n b predict x test. So just like the uh, previous example with Bernoulli distribution, here also we have with multinomial distribution. And again with the same concept with the accuracy score, you compare the y expect versus y pred. So the predicted values versus the reality. So let's see. Okay, that's eighty zero point eight seven three six. So that means eighty seven percent. The multinomial naibes performs eighty seven percent accuracy. That's good. So let's try to see the Gaussian distribution. So in that case, we have to have G A U S N B variable, and the Gaussian N B is the method dot fit x train y train. Then we we get the prediction y pred. From the Gaussian naibes, G A U S dot predict x test. So with the test values of the x, we predict the y values, y prediction, and next we compare the predicted values versus the actual values or the real values. So what what we expect, y expect. So y expect is the y test, actual values. So we look at here. So that is zero point eight one. So these are the three ways that we have used here. <coughs> With the naive base classifier. So it's about data set where it is spam or not, and we have used various functions, various options of varieties of naive Bayes classifier. 
with Bernoulli naivets, multinomial naivets, and Gaussian naivets. So that's the end of this session. Hope you learned something and hope you found the session interesting. So you can try this example again and again. Or for naivets with scikit-learn, you can refer. Documentation, Gaussian, so this is the code that we have. That's the end of this session.